Hello, Jonathan. This is Daniel Flores, sales manager at Acura of Wappingers Falls, coming to you with a video on the 2024 Acura Integra Type S. I'm going to show you a little bit of a walk around on the outside. So this right here is the white on red combination. I uh, apologize about this one being sold, but I am working on getting you another one already. So that's a little bit of a peek on the outside. They really did a great job with the design on the 24 Integra Type S. So you'll see the front, nice diamond pentagon grill. Real nice look there, Type S badging. Got your radar system in the emblem too. You'll see uh, you have your chicane style of headlights too. So that little uh, that line going through kind of flows with the body line, which is beautiful. Uh, nice thing in the front too, you also have your parking sensors too. So that'll let you know if you're getting close to any objects and things. Obviously with a car like this, you wouldn't want to be hitting the curbs. So looks real good. Got a little hood vent, pretty straightforward there. I'll open up the hood for you so you can take a look under there. Good latch is just right underneath there. You see underneath the hood, you got your 2.0 liter turbo engine. It's going to give you 320 horsepower, so plenty of pep to catch up and going. A little nice and clean layout under here. If you had any other questions regarding mechanicals, you know, please just let us know. I'll close that up for you. Also in the front, you know, you have a lot of safety features with your standard too, so you'll see like your camera system up there. It's going to be feel like your lane departure, uh, lane keep assist. Um, like I said, you have the radar system in the front for any kind of front end accidents or anything like that. Over here, that's actually going to be your heads-up display, so that'll project like your speedometer and things right onto the front windshield right there, which is really nice. So, we'll see, of course, 19-inch wheels. You've got your Brembo brakes in the front. Good stopping power, of course. You've got your summer tires on there. Open up the back for you. It's a hatchback design, of course. So when you lift it up, a little button underneath here. So see, you got the little shade, you know, just obviously separate, you know, the items you have in your trunk from the rest of the car, you know, and keep it nice and clean looking. Nice amount of space in the back, which is great. And you'll see your subwoofer back there too. See, it says ELS Studio 3D. You have a 16 speaker set in this car because it is an a spec type S and a uh, real nice clean layout. So plenty of room, you can put whatever you need. You can drop down those back seats too. So uh, you have the 60-40 split. You'll see the 60% 40 split. So it's really easy. There's latches on the top of the seat. <coughs> Let me unlock the car. So you see this is the back seat right here. I'll also take some photos for you too. So latch on the top of the seat. You can pull this and that drops the seat down flat. You know, so if there's anything you need to load in, once again, you can keep maybe one side down, have any kind of items here and still have a passenger, or you can drop the whole thing down if you need to put anything large in here. But it opens up to a really, really nice amount of space, especially because you have that direct pass-through and it flows right in with the flat floor. So put that back up pretty easy. So a couple holders in the second row. So close up the trunk for you. And uh, let's you take a look at it from the back, of course. Once again, you got your parking sonars in the back, so you see those little marks and notations in the bumper. Uh, you got the nice clean spoiler, so looks real good on the car. You know, perfectly fitting for the vehicle. So this is probably one of my favorite parts about it. These wide body flares right there it really looks great. You know, I did a really good job with the appearance on it. So we'll take a walk inside. Obviously, you got your smart key entrance, so you can lock the doors. You see right there, just by touching that. And obviously, unlocking is an easy process. Just grab the door handle, and they unlock for you. So, nice and easy. You'll see in the front, got your black and red seats. In the center, 
have that suede material, which is nice. So you'll notice leather on the side, suede in the center. So leather leather helps you slide right in. And then I feel like the, the suede kind of grabs you, which is nice, you know, especially in a sporty car like this too. So let's have a seat in there. So nice steering wheel, leather wrapped, of course. You got the red stitching in there, type S. So I'll turn this on for you. This is the layout. You'll see, of course, your speedometer, RPMs, fuel information on the other side. Um, all data that can be changed. So when I go through the dial on the steering wheel, which is right there, you can actually change through the data that you're seeing up there. Heads up display settings, things like that, brightness. This is showing your safety features that are activated. Um, of course, in this, because you have your blind spot monitoring, um, that's integrated into the mirrors. So there's going to be a little orange light that appears in the corner. That'll typically be right there. That'll illuminate orange when you have someone in your blind spot path. Of course, you have it on both mirrors. Um, so it's showing that your lane departure's on. You know, so you can uh, obviously change that screen. Once again, just keep going with the dial, TPMS, oil life, and just showing you, you know, what seats. Right now, it's showing that the back seat belts are plugged in and that my seatbelt is not plugged in in the front. You see that little red uh, sign. So, okay, just going through a lot of data here for you to play with. So, it's a real nice and clean layout. Um, when you alter the dynamic mode in the car, you'll see right here. So, right now we're in the Sport Plus and you see it changed colors. Comfort mode, so comfort is the blue. Sport is pretty much the, the standard that you leave it in. And Sport Plus mode. Now, when you go into Sport Plus mode, you're going to get a little bit more pep, a little bit more acceleration, throttle response. Uh, not only that, you're going to open up the exhaust flap too. There's a, there's a Tri-Sport exhaust in the back of this. It has an active flap in there, so when you actually put it in that Sport Plus mode, it opens up that, uh, that flap, which is nice and really gets a good sound to it. Probably not going to get a good sound on it right now um, when you're just kind of sitting here idling. You know, there's not much, uh, not much sound that's going to happen. I'll give it a little rev for you. Maybe you can hear it. So, but it really sounds great in person. Over here, you got your nine-inch uh, display, uh, touchscreen, of course. So right now, we'll dismiss that. Uh, but you see, it's got your all your information up here. You know, apps, phone, Sirius XM. You know, connecting your smartphone. This does have uh, wireless Apple CarPlay in there, so which means that you don't have to plug your cable in to get the uh, CarPlay to work. You know, as soon as you get in the vehicle, it'll detect it, and you can essentially just you know let it play right away. No need to hook anything else up. So, and of course, uh, when you put it in reverse, your backup camera kicks on too, which is nice. So, put it back in neutral. Uh, down here, you got your uh, dual zone climate control. So, driver temperature, passenger temperature. Over here, it's showing that my heated seat is on. So, level three, that's just going to be the hottest setting. And of course, you have that over there for the passenger too, which is great. So, uh, charging ports, you know, right down there in case you need it. I'm sure you will. Everybody does. And right there, showing your uh, six speed shift knob. And this is the dynamic mode that I was just talking about, changing between the Sport Plus mode. Individual mode lets you create essentially like a customizable setting for you And this is your electronic parking brake too. So, you know, put it up and down to disengage and engage it. So Pull it up to engage it Brake hold is a uh, feature when you're kind of at like stoplights and you depress the brake a little bit hard It essentially will lock in the brake so you can just take your foot off the brake and you know, sit there at the light waiting till you, you're ready until the light turns green and you can go ahead and go. So, some people like it, some people don't. My wife loves it. I personally don't care for it. So, wireless charging pad there in case you want to charge your device wirelessly, of course. You just lay it down there. So, all nice and easy. This is the inside. It's the top. So, you can get a good view of it. Door panel controls. You'll see the uh, ELS Studio system again. Once again, 16 speaker set set up in this. So, auto dimming mirror. So that automatically dims itself. You know when people have their uh, their lights on behind you, which is nice. So, yeah, looks great. Show a little shot of the back. 
If there's any other questions, you know, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, once again, my name is Daniel Flores. I'm the sales manager here at Acura of Wappingers Falls. You know, please don't hesitate to let me know. My work number is 845-298-0400. And my extension is 1010. Or you can reach out to Brittany, of course, too. My cell phone number is 917-569-6474. That's 917-569-6474. And this is Daniel Flores, sales manager at Acura Wappingers Falls. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Have a great day.